students gather at San Antonio College for the transfer fair, which occurs every fall and spring semester, in the efforts of encouraging students to advance into a higher education. We have um, attacked Palo Alto College, uh, San Antonio College, that was the latest, but uh, before that was uh, Northwest Vista College. On a rainy day at San Antonio College, students went about their normal day unaware that they were about to be attacked by a flash mob. I think, it, I think a flash mob is a fun way to grab attention. I think this last one was probably the most successful. Um, it was a lot of fun. I think it's definitely something that we'll keep doing. I think it was a great turnout. I think the, the weather kind of helped uh, uh, keep people inside, but uh, I think it was a great turnout. A lot of colleges here and even more students that will uh, hopefully have seen our event and will transfer to AM San Antonio. Because you think that everybody was surprised by the flash mob? By the look at everybody's faces, they were definitely surprised. I think it was a, a, a great disruption to the uh, uh, normal activity in the center and uh, we accomplished what we set out to do. Because we don't really get to see that a lot around here, so I think that it's it was a really fun experience. Had you ever seen a flash mob before? No, I haven't, honestly. That's why it took me by surprise. Hunter, you were right there in front of the action. How do you think the flash mob did? Uh, I think they did excellent. I think it's really neat that uh, people come out and do stuff like that. It just it adds variety to the, the monotony of life. It's a good thing. One thing is without a doubt, the flash mob created a buzz and Texas A&M San Antonio created a lasting impression in students' minds. This is Nina Garcia, reporter for the Mesquite Staff News here at San Antonio College covering the flash mob thriller.